for Harry Potter's Jug Corner. What do wizards put on their ice cream? Magic shell. Why was Draco's shirt so dirty? Because he was slithering in the mud. What did Harry Potter and Charlie Brown have in common? They were both in love with the little girl with red hair. Why did Draco's best friend yell at him? Because he was feeling crabby. <laughs> How did Ron gas up the flying car? Expecto Petroleum. Hey there everyone, so glad you could join me again today for Harry Potter Club. Sitting next to my good friend here, the Sorting Hat. We're actually gonna read about him for a bit today. Uh, this is from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Chapter 7, The Sorting Hat. So Malfoy's just been sorted into the Slytherin house, and he's making his way back to his friends Crab and Goyle to sit down. There's only a few kids left to be sorted into their houses. We're going to skip to the main event and see what's happening with Mr. Potter, okay? As Harry stepped forward, whispers suddenly broke out like little hissing fires all over the hall. Potter? Did she say? The Harry Potter? The last thing Harry saw before the hat dropped over his eyes was the hall full of people craning to get a good look at him. Next second, he was looking at the black inside of the hat. He waited. Hmm, said a small voice in his ear. Difficult, very difficult. Plenty of courage, I see. Not a bad mind either. There's talent. Oh my goodness, yes and a nice thirst to prove yourself. Now that's interesting. So where shall I put you? Harry gripped the edges of the stool and thought, not Slytherin, not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Said the small voice. You sure? You could be great, you know. It's all here in your head and Slytherin will help you be on your way to greatness. No doubt about that. No? Well, if you're sure, better be. Gryffindor! Harry heard the hat shout the last word to the whole hall. He took off the hat and walked shakily toward the Gryffindor table. He was so relieved to have been chosen and not put in Slytherin. He had hardly noticed that he was getting the loudest cheer yet. Percy Prefect got up and shook his hand vigorously while the Weasley twins yelled, We got Potter! We got Potter! Harry sat down opposite of the ghost in the rough he had seen earlier. The ghost patted his arm, giving Harry the sudden horrible feeling that he had just plunged into a bucket of cold ice water. <laughs> Hi everybody, today for Harry Potter Club, we're gonna make a delicious craft. I think you're all gonna enjoy this very, very much. You might not have these things at home, but they would be easy to get at the grocery store the next time you and mom head to the store. What we're gonna need are some sugar cookies. I picked these up from the bakery. Some sugar cones, sugar ice cream cones, the pointy kind there. Some M&M chocolate candies, chocolate frosting. And be sure to grab a pair of scissors and a Ziploc bag from your kitchen because you're gonna need that for this as well. So I've already kind of gotten started here. I've put some chocolate frosting on the top of the sugar cookie. And the next thing you need to do is fill the sugar cone with some M&Ms. Oops, I didn't mean to put them on the cookie there. That's okay. Fill that up. Just hold that in. Okay. And then take your sugar cookie in hand and place it over the top of your cone like that. And then turn it back over. That way your M&Ms won't go falling everywhere. Now what I've done with my Ziploc bag, <clears throat> looks kind of gross, but it's actually really yummy. So I put some chocolate frosting, excuse me, <clears throat> into the Ziploc bag, and I'm gonna trim the end here so that we can make his face. I think I might've just cut that opening a little bit too big, and if so, too much frosting is gonna come out at one time, but we're gonna try to make it work anyway. So give me just a second. Make his little eyes here. His face is kind of 
funny and bumpy anyway, so should be pretty good. And there you go. It's about all it takes, and you have a delicious treat to eat. So glad y'all could join us today. See you next time.